What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Slackers, bringing you guys our next matchup in the Everyone Is Here tournament. So, if you haven't seen this before, it's a very simple concept. 100 characters put into a tournament each day on my channel, except for Sundays. I upload one of the matches from the tournament, and then how the whole thing works is I'll talk about the two characters that are in the matchup for the day. Maybe go over a couple facts, maybe make a mini moveset pool for how they might potentially work in Smash Bros. And then we'll vote for one of them down in the comments. But voting's a part of the rules, so we'll throw up all the rules at once right now. Alright, rules are very simple. Rule number one, this is for fun. Always keep that in mind because it's a rule because we have assist trophies, we have spirits, we have... You know, characters that are disconfirmed it will never happen, but who cares? If you like the character, feel free to drop a vote for him. It's all good. No restrictions. Rule number two, you only get one vote per person. Um, yes, some people do try to sneak it. It hasn't been an issue in a long time, but uh, I still notice it from time to time. But anyway, you only get one vote per person. How do you vote, though? That is simple. Down in the comments, you simply type one of the characters' names that you're voting for for the day's matchup. Uh, just type their name. You are allowed to vote for both the characters if you absolutely love both of them by simply typing the word both. If you, if you like both of them or if you just have a difficult time... Deciding who to vote for, you can vote for both, all good. Um, but the rest of the rules though, double elimination tournament, meaning a character has to lose twice before being officially eliminated. Once we get to the results to determine the winner and loser for each matchup, if there's a tie in the votes, we'll flip a coin on camera, it's the fairest way to break a tie. That way the tournament can keep on running very smoothly. And then the last rule uh, is each matchup voting wise. It's only open for one week, so you have seven days from when the uh, episode first gets uploaded. You have seven days to get your votes in. If it comes in after that, sorry, don't count. All right, those are the rules. Let's get to the rest of the video. All right, so we are in the loser bracket for results again for the next couple of weeks, actually. So going to be a lot of eliminations coming up. So, um, yeah, the results for the matchup that we're going over was uh, Arlay from the Puyo Puyo series taking on Porky Minch from the Earthbound Mother series. And... Uh, it wasn't necessary. I mean, it was kind of, kind of close. Not really close. Uh, the winner definitely won by a good, uh, good chunk of votes. It, uh, it's like a football score. You, you guys will see what I mean by that. If anybody follows football, Arla ended up winning this one, thirty-five to twenty-one uh, for uh, twenty-one votes for Porky Minch. So Arla, congrats. Moving on to the next round, and uh, yeah, sorry, but uh, Porky happened to be eliminated. I feel bad, but. And uh, it, it, it happens. Everybody except one character ultimately gets eliminated. So, uh, yeah. Somebody made a really fun point about Porky, um, which I thought could fit for several different characters, but I'll talk, maybe say something about that later. Whatever. He could be, like, a fun bonus sort of character. Maybe a free character for something like that because he doesn't have a spirit. Uh, I don't know. Just that whole idea of giving us another bonus character like Piranha Plant would kind of be a fun uh, idea, so... I don't know, Porky could kind of be a fun fun bonus character. But uh, that's the results. Let's just go to the, the the matchup for the day. Where are we at here? Ah, yes, yes, yes. Dixie Kong from the Donkey Kong series. You know, one of the last remaining Nintendo All-Stars. She, her, she, or her opponent uh, for this matchup is the controversial. My Shiranai from the... For another SNK rep. We'll, we'll put it like that. She's been in multiple games. But, uh... So, let's talk about it. I think Dixie's up first. And Dixie, now again, I uh, just stated, Dixie Kong is a Nintendo All-Star. Look at how, how like, after Fighter Pass number 5 comes out, what do we have, like 75 characters or something like that? There's a good majority of that that are first party. But somehow, none of them are Dixie Kong? That's crazy to me. Like, if you... If you if you go to somebody who's a Nintendo fan, who has been for years, and you ask them to list maybe even 50 of their, uh, like, their idea of Nintendo All-Stars, there's a good chance Dixie Kong's going to be on a lot of people's list. She's very recognizable. Her name is, uh, you know, it, it, you say her name, people are going to recognize who it is, right? They're going to be like, oh, yeah, 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 it's that girl Donkey Kong. I, I've had a friend say the girl Donkey Kong. I'm like, uh, uh, cringe. Uh, but... People know who she is, at least, and I think that helps sales-wise, company-wise. Now, again, Sakurai did state something about, you know, it doesn't have to be recognizable. You have to be more fun, or being fun is a part of the process, and Dixie Kong would have a very fun play style. Don't get us, 
Don't, don't let's not twist that around. She'd be she'd be an enjoyable character to play as. Now, a lot of people look at her and go, "All right, she was uh, back back in the Forbidden Seven days because she was considered for Smash Bros. at one point in the in the uh, past, and she ended up getting cut sadly because she's going to be a team with Diddy Kong. So a lot of people are like, "All right, if Dixie Kong gets in, she's just going to be an Echo Fighter of Diddy Kong." Now, I get why you say that. I get why you could make a point for that, like the Forbidden Seven. She was going to be a team with Diddy Kong, and they're going to pretty much act the same for the most part. Okay, okay, I see where you're coming from. But Dixie Kong has so many different characteristics, different style for her that, uh, while, yes, yeah, she would probably share a couple similarities with Diddy Kong, you know, maybe height frame or height wise hitbox frame, uh, you know, maybe move speed, uh, all that sort of stuff, you know. Uh, yeah, she, she shares some qualities with Diddy Kong, so it, it's bound to be a thing that could happen. But, 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 let's, 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 let's throw you guys the idea of what could make her a bit unique. Now, um, Diddy Kong does have his peanut pop gun, but Diddy Kong has like this bubble, or Dixie Kong has a bubble gum gun thing, so it shoots out bubble gums, and I don't know if you could use that, like, for some, like, after you, like, uh, blow a big bubble for a uh, bubble gummy you nut know, and it gets like all sticky and if it pops or whatever I don't know it'd be a fun idea if you could somehow use that like the gum itself like if it happens to land somewhere on the stage maybe it's like a little uh, it's something a little extra like if somebody walks through it uh, it would slow them down just a little bit maybe they get stuck there for a second or something you know like oh I got crap I got gum on my shoe Something like that would be kind of fun idea. Uh, you could definitely, and uh, you have to, actually, you have to. If you're doing a D Dixie Kong moveset, the ponytail, you got to get the hair whips, uh, you know, hair twirls, something like that. She could hover with the hair, you know, like a ponytail copter, something like that. You could do that. Uh, have to get the ponytail involved. Big stuff there. Um, what else? You you could get some of the Donkey Kong Country friends involved. For example, uh, Rambi, the, uh, the, the rhino. That could be a very fun uh, side smash, or not side smash, side special. She jumps on Rambi and boom, charges across the screen. Or another potential thing that you could do is get a lot of the other uh, Donkey Kong Country friends involved for a final smash. So definitely different than uh, what Dixie Co or Diddy Kong has. And uh, like, there's a lot of different possibilities. Um, obviously, again, similarities will be there, but it's just that's just the way it's gonna be. Um, but again recognizable character uh has been a requested character for quite a while and uh donkey kong country or donkey kong series to nintendo is one of their bigger ips not one of the their biggest i mean it's it's still up there people still recognize it for for sure and uh with the recent addition of king k rule coming back it's like all right we finally got the villain from the series why not get that last kind of remaining donkey kong Main st I mean, there's a lot of other Donkey Kong characters, though, but, like, Dixie Kong would, like, feel like it would round out the uh, the series very well with Donkey, Diddy, Dixie, and then K. Rule feels like it rounds out just perfectly, so uh, maybe it happens, maybe it doesn't. Who knows? Should make a phenomenal addition to the roster, though, so my opinion, and I think a lot of people feel that same way, but uh, let's talk about our opponent here. My sure and I from, well, another SNK rep, all right? Let's talk about it. So we know about the the uh, uh, the the whole controversy with her and why she wasn't a spirit or why she wasn't even one of the background characters on the uh, uh, on Terry Bogard's stage. Why sh why wasn't she anywhere near that? Well, it had to do with um, the uh, the ESRB and the ratings and everything. And it wasn't. And people still get this confused. And I get it. You know, you hear one person say it, and you're like, all right, it has to be true, right? Well, no, it, a lot of people thought it was the Kalievich that was the big issue with her. No, nah, if I remember correctly, and I've seen a lot of people, uh, a couple of people have even given, like, uh, actual sources on this, which is great, but it, was, it wasn't it was the Kalievich, it was, like, the upskirt shots, and that was the, that was the big issue with the ratings, and if that's, if that's an issue, actually, I think that's what he was saying about uh, past games with, was it, like, Peach or Rosalina or something like that? No matter what they were doing to, like make it more family friendly kind of deal it didn't matter like it was still like now nah, we could still do this and this so my she wears some short kind of skimpy outfits let's be honest if you know who she is that's what she wears and so people 
will take it a little bit too far. They will. And 2019, about to be 2020. People do whatever they want, right? But uh, my, I think, like, if, if that wasn't an issue, she's still a very qualified character in terms of potentially getting represented in Smash Bros. Now, after Terry Bogard, the whole thing, and there is not a ton of positive reaction. I'm not trying to be, like, negative towards Terry, but, like, out of all, everything that's been revealed so far, all the characters, Terry's kind of had, like, the least amount of, like, yay, you know, behind the reveal, and it's like, okay, would Nintendo want to go down that route again with another SNK, even if it's the bonus DLC, not just necessarily Fighter Pass 5, but if it's bonus DLC, would they, would they want to do that again and go, all right, it wasn't, it maybe didn't go over extremely well with the fans. Maybe it was kind of a, some people were doing the literal who, who are you? Never heard of you. Why do you deserve it? Look, the, the SNK, King of Fighters, Fatal Fury, all the, all those franchises have been around for decades. They, they really kind of paved the way, like in the 90s. They were one of the go-to franchises, SNK, the corporation. They were one of the bigger names, like in the 90s. They have a great deal of history the company does, and I think they have, I think King of Fighter, I forget which number they're on, there's so many actually, but I believe there is a new King of Fighters game that is in the works, it's supposed to come out, I think it's for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One in 2020, so it's not like the franchise is dead, not doing anything, no, they just had a brand new mobile game, I think that was released uh, within the past couple months, I believe, I've seen ads for it all the time, so... Um, that she, she's been in that, uh, she's one of the faces, uh, of SNK, um, yeah, here's this, people made my sure nice stages in Stage Builder, I don't know if this was after or before the whole situation with her, I don't know, but it, hey, people, people know who she is and people are at least recognizing the fact that she's being talked about, so, uh, but overall, uh, like, okay, move said I barely touched on it, she's from a fighting game, so, the simple response is, oh, you come from a fighting game? It's just kind of, not copy-paste, but it's like, all right, you have these moves. Let's just figure out how to put them into which inputs for Smash Ultimate. It's simple to do. So, move sets, not, that's, that's easy. That's easy. But for me, even, even if Terry Bogard wasn't in and somebody brought up SNK, would I like to see a rep from them? Not really. I wasn't a really big, I really wasn't that I wasn't even, like, a mediocre fan of, like, SNK. Not saying they did anything bad or anything, but it's just... It wasn't something that made me go, yep, I'm playing that, you know? So, for me, the company... not so, Again, their characters are good. I, I like a few, quite a few of them. Terry's a pretty nice addition. I haven't probably played him in, like, a month, I'll be honest. But he's, he's still fun to play as. I might pick him up again once his Amiibo comes out. If they get an Amiibo, where's that at, by the way? Um, Announce something, please, Nintendo. Uh, but... For me, this one is easy voting wise. Nintendo All Star Dixie Kong. She's got my vote, hands down, hands down. She's got my vote, Dixie Kong. So let me know who you guys have voted for down in the comments. Dixie Kong, my share, and I, or both. All are viable options. So that is going to be it for this one. If anyone made it this far into the video, I probably I'm thinking I'll make another video on this. Friday, I got something a very big planned, and uh, I'll finally announce it on Friday, and then. We'll go from there, but I'm very excited. Uh, I've been working on it for months. Yeah, you've been working on something for months? Yeah, well, you'll see. There's just a lot of time that I had to get... Whatever. Friday, I got a big announcement. You'll see. It's going to be a video. But uh, anyway, that is it. So, a little sneak peek for tomorrow. Um, let's see. Where's the matchup? Ah, tomorrow's matchup is going to be the Chorus Kids from the Rhythm Heaven series. Rhythm Paradise? No, Rhythm Heaven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but they are taking on Byleth from Fire Emblem... Three houses, but uh, we'll, we'll talk about that. Two first-party characters going at it tomorrow. And then, uh, who do we got for results? Tomorrow's results is going to be from Monster Hunter, uh, or the Hunter from the series, taking on <laughs> Tetris L Block. So, we'll see how that one plays out. That is going to be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed, as always. Hopefully, catch you guys on the next one. Peace out, everybody. Stay tuned for Friday.